so we have not specified we have not uh, uh, labeled these uh, these nodes so let's this is a good opportunity to see when we what lt spice does to nodes how it names these nodes when we don't label them right so we go to um, spice netlist and see whether uh, all components are connected correctly and we see that um, the components are connected correctly but this n002 is the name for a particular node and n001 is the name for another node so um, and since uh, this r is connected between this node so, so its positive polarity is uh, is the is the so this R is connected to voltage source and 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 the terminal of resistor that is connected to voltage source generally has the positive polarity. So from here we get to know that the positive polarity. So we as as I told you in the previous tutorial in the net list you first see the names of the components and then you see the positive polarity node and then then you see the negative polarity node and finally you see the values right. So the positive polarity of R1 shows that this particular node is named N001, right? And this node is named N002, right? So when you don't name the, uh, you, you don't uh, label these nodes, it basically LT Spice uses this convention where it, it uh, writes N001, N002, N003, assigns these names to. Uh, uh, to nodes, um, but uh, we are we 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 are never sure which node is named uh, what by LT Spice. So it's generally um, uh, much more convenient to name these nodes yourself. So let's name it V01. Um, and again, this one V0. We are keeping the same names for the nodes from the previous tutorial because we're still on the same uh, problem of measuring phase difference. But this time will be uh, will be a bit more professional in in measuring the phase difference. So once we have labeled them, let's now rerun it. And once you have rerun it, you now see this this. Uh, graphical interface now you maximize it by just double clicking the top and you add trace so before you add trace just it's always good to see the available traces okay um, and now you add trace and you just so the first you add the input which is v0 this is the reference right and then you add the other trace which is v01 the the output the, the value that we want to measure and now you just zoom so you go to any steady state region and just select that region and as soon as you select it you will see the zoomed in view and let's select this particular region right so here we 